Ain't shady, baby, I'm hot like the prodigal sun. Big a battle, any mini money, more and flower, you're the chosen one. As I heed my final sigh of resignation, I already know her answer. That night, I blurted out the world to her. Um, I think we could be good together, if you like. But don't worry if you, you don't say no. <laughs> more likely, I will stammer and stutter, rush through my words as the onlookers mutter, stare up at the ceiling. Or maybe the floor, then at the audience, always the door. Don't worry, he can stay and hear every single one. He once asked him if he loved, and he laughed. He laughed that cutting laugh which stripped you bare and cut you up and left you there. Come on, someone, tell me a story. It's not that I ask myself the questions or think of topics to bring up at parties when I'm just up all smartly, because I hardly use them. Strike the party, Leonardo or Picard did. I hardly use this, this brain. When I arrived in this place, I was kind of dazed. All these people and faces got me caught up in a maze of solid bewilderment, settlement and devilment. Am I a toy? That weird kind of thing. I worked out it's actually the logo for drama's exclusive ring. It's a private thing. Only drama students are allowed in. And that's what makes it so delicious like the pun the plug. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Everything she said in that poem is actually true. <laughs> Covering your crabby patty with his secret sauce, ruining your bikini bottom with no sense of <laughs> Um, so I wrote a poem for this evening, and uh, it's titled Chocolate Biscuits, but it's not actually about chocolate biscuits. <laughs> no, my doubt was out the window. This is where I belong, with all my fears forehead down where the cries, pain, and gain of a young girl can be heard. I was made for this mic, and this mic was made for this girl.